He gave something from his heart, a dream of the future that gave hope. It said so many things to so many people about, it's not always going to be this way, it will be better. That was your dad's gift. Yes, there, there's, a, there's a relation to Gene Roddenberry. Gene was my father. It wasn't until after he passed away that I found out that Star Trek actually touched people. It was really just very inspiring. You feel like when you're watching the show that you're part of something. Thank you for the friendship. Star Trek is more than just a show. It's a philosophy. If I have any overall philosophy, it's a great optimism about mankind. For all the foolish things we do, we're a pretty remarkable creature, and I think we're still in our childhood. I would say it's just as important today as it was back in the 60s when it first came out. We had hands hovering over red buttons, and here was a show that offered us hope. Every time I saw one, I thought to myself, damn, this is good. I wonder what he was like before Star Trek happened. We had three failed years. The show was considered a flop. His vision is optimistic. Many, many writers had a difficult time writing in his world. Rick Berman really did hold the flame. I don't think your dad could have had his dream realized by a studio in today's world. Tomorrow is the last day of filming for Star Trek Enterprise, and we're just going to go on. They're kicking us off the lot. He would have, he would totally walked off the lot. Boycotted Star Trek with me. I don't know if Star Trek will, but the Roddenberrys will always be here for you. I especially. I find it interesting, you know, for sons to try to explore what their fathers have done. It's a quest someday. I hope my own son goes on. And the fact that you weren't a massive Star Trek fan is a fascinating thing. And my guess is that you might have been had your name not been Roddenberry.